Hello, my name is Jennifer Chacon, and I will be presenting this artwork that was made by Manuela Costa. He is an American, and he was born in 1921 to died 1989. Also in his picture, um, it says that it is a blue topaz, and it is an oil on canvas board. And it is an El Paso Museum of Art, and it was a gift of Marina Acosta Strasser. I will talk about the top 10 things I noticed and feel about this certain painting I chose. So, let's start. The top 9th thing that I saw in this painting was the texture of the woman's cloth. It feels like very elegant, like her design on her dress and the how heavy it looks. So I believe that the texture is really impacted due to the oil on this canvas thing. I mean, I think you can really see the glow of the oil on the canvas, but I really think the texture does... um get your eye in some way because it kind of makes it to me it kind of made it look kind of real so I believe the texture was one thing that you could notice about this painting okay so the top eighth thing that I observed was that this painting is naturalistic because as you can see a woman her head and her arms and her shoulders are pretty much proportional um, she's the only person in the canvas or I mean in the painting rather say however you want to uh, she's the only person in the painting and she has a lot of space um, <coughs> You can also see that she has a very three look, three D dimensional structure, and I could opinion with my opinion, I can say that uh, this artist also used chiaroscuro on her on her self-image because you can see the darkness and the lightness where the light is hitting her and it's reflecting um, what um, what's farther away from the light in her face so I believe that this painting is naturalistic due to these uh, simple factors Top seventh thing that I observed was the neutral colors. Um, as all we all know, the neutral colors are black, white, and gray. As you can see, white can be a little bit reflected on her skin and a little bit on her hair. Um, black on her dress. And gray, I can also see a little bit on her hair I guess because of her age but yes I did notice the neutral colors that are being applied into this painting the top six thing that I saw as I mentioned before was the chiaroscuro um, <clears throat> it gives her mass it doesn't give her a flat complex on her face or her body um, I especially noticed the heaviness of her cloth because, I mean, you can see with the chiaroscuro that it gives it a, a, a mass also and that it just shows uh, pretty much that it's a fabric that's not just not any normal fabric, it's heavy fabric due to the chiaroscuro so definitely yes I think and saw that this painting has some of chiaroscuro in it the fifth thing that I noticed was the contour of things 
um, pretty much in this painting you can know uh, the where things end due to this contour. Uh, I pretty much just see how things are being contoured to bring in that um, 3D face or 3D visuality. The top four thing that I saw was that I believe that this woman is implying a vertical line. Why? Because just the way that she is looking, and I also believe that since vertical line is, it can demonstrate stress, I believe this woman is demonstrating stress because just the way that she just looks, like she just doesn't like, um, I guess, standing up or the way that she is right now. So I believe that this painting implies a vertical line with the woman showing. Top third thing that I noticed was that this woman in the painting is the focal point. Not just due because she is the only person in the painting, but... They really are emphasizing her the main thing because she's just the primary person in this painting. So yes, definitely there is a focal point and this focal point. The top second thing was that I could get an emotion with this painting and the first thing that I felt was a lot of seriousness due to the way that her face is expressioned um, also the way that her arms are crossed she really just is really serious she's not really I guess that goofy person that wants to take a picture or um, she's probably just there standing in like the artist when he was painting her or something uh, she's just like okay just finish this already but she's really serious and that was the very very first emotion I got when I looked at this painting and last but not least the top first thing that noticed that you can notice is that I took a selfie with this painting because I thought it would be really funny. So, as you can see, she's looking at me like, really, you're going to take a selfie? So, this is why I like this painting, because she looks very serious. And I don't think people should be that serious. There's many ways to have a better looking face than that seriousness. So, that was pretty much of this presentation and I hope you liked this painting as much as I did and also thank you for giving me your time thank you